Hey guys, this is the Mabini here, and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2. And we are going off to. Alright, so that feather thing is where you go to get stuff. Actually, I need to get on top of this building so that I know where to find the codex pages. Wait, no, I don't. I can just go to the map. Radio, so let's just. <laughs> Let's just run off down here. I'm not sure if we're near this, because uh, there's a city where we went to in M Industries. Or M. For M Industries, we played some Assassin's Creed 2. And, yeah, that's basically it. We went to this town, and I'm not sure what it is. But it's this place where stuff happens. What's over here? What's going on? Perfect. Get off the very big box. Doesn't make any sense how they're just lying around. Now, now they're all off somewhere, aren't they? All the things are on an adventure. And we go and we run this way. And we get out of here. And then we get on a horse, because it's a fair distance. Oh. Damn it. Clippy thing. Oh, I know what it is, man. Don't yell. <laughs> um, how far away is it? It's up that way. So I'm on the right track. Alright everybody, let's just speed it up. Oh yeah. yeah. We do lots of running. Assassin's Creed Rogue is coming out. Oh, okay, we've missed the thing entirely. I thought it might have been in the outer edge. There we go. So yeah, Assassin's Creed Rogue comes out, or came out. And it's about this guy who used to be an assassin, but now it isn't. And I think you start off being um, an assassin. And you go on a mission, and pretty much everyone hates you when they're acting like Templars. And it's really mean. Go back to the place. Alright, let's go. So we do go back. Go check on Claudia. What do we want to do that for? Because we're the man of the house now. Because every other man's dead. So we've got things to do. People to see. I love how the camera kind of goes off a bit. And if you hold space then it changes. Where am I going at? Missing everything. I don't know how to get back to the castle. When did I start recording? I can't even remember. Four minutes. Let's say I started at 11:30. All right. And so we're four minutes in, and then we'll stop at 11:40. That's good. Keeps it simple as simple can be. Dun -dun 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 Lots of running involved. But I, I haven't finished watching um, this video series that someone's doing on um, Ass Assassin's Creed Rogue. But it looks like an interesting game. I like how it connects up number 3 with um, nothing. <laughs> doesn't really connect 3 with anything because they're the Irish Assassins. I have to get into the building. There's the training and... All this great stuff. I hope I'm not confusing anyone. I'm still talking about this game. Oh, of course Claudia's here and she's in charge of the finances and all that. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. 
If Father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Okay. So yeah, we can just uh, spend money to get cool stuff. No, this is total value. Anyway. We don't have any money yet to do that. So if we actually care, there's the man, he's got the stuff. We've only got 81,000 or whatever. Buongiorno. There's something wrong. Oh, yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can spell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Alright, so this is where we can actually um, buy stuff, so you don't actually have to go to Claudia at all. <laughs> Unless you want an evaluation of it. So we have 8181. And we can spend it to make things cool. The art merchant, which we can make better. Now I love the t I love tailors, so I'll just um can I? All right, so I have to actually go a uh, stage at a time. Renovate it some more, and then five thousand, of which we do not have. Alright, so we can keep coming back here. God damn it. <laughs> to spend money. And I thought I heard Mario from... Uh, what? <sighs> it's very interesting because in that scene there, he was um, he was talking. And then Mario shouted and I'm thinking, wait, we can't see Mario. So, <laughs> very atmospheric. Alright. It's you, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. It's my secret men's room. <laughs> and it's got all the statues and all the great stuff. I'll show you. It's all the way down here. And we go down. And then there was, we we're all down here. And then we're even more down here. In Brotherhood. Um, Come down here. What is it? Hmm. Anyway, I'll open. This is the <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> it was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia. 
hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. That guy's voice sounds a lot like in um, the dad in Quantum Conundrum. Yeah, that looks a lot like the armor one in Brotherhood, or armor you can get in general. I think you can just make it. It's fixed in place by six locks. And there's the six locks, and you gotta break them. Of Kulon Gal, the male Mongolian assassin, he used a bow and arrow to shoot like Genghis Khan's. Or Genghis Khan? <laughs> Should Gigas Khan's horse look like something is missing from the pedestal. Alright. Anyway, in the next episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2, we are going to go up there and do something important, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. But I think that's what's going on. Um, we're going somewhere else entirely, okay. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Because you always got to make the front before you make the, the inside because then people go, oh my god, that looks interesting. And they go inside and they go, well then, there's nothing inside. And then you say, ah, but there will be. It's going to be amazing. And they go, oh. and then they're interested. And then they come back and they go, hey, look. And when they drive past and they go, oh my god, there's that thing that the guy was talking about. Wow, I'm, <laughs> i got a lot to say. Oh, without getting more Adam. Wait, it's a good thing to do it? But, for f no! No! There was one, he was right there, and I could've killed him, but I didn't, because I'm freaking terrified of him.